All right, in the last lesson, I had this. I had a pill picking on a box and pushing it around. Eh, what a bully pill, right? Okay, but today we're going to be looking at the finite adjustment of scripting. All right, now a little disclaimer. Uh, so I come from a computer programming standpoint, but of course all colleges in the world or colleges in the United States, um, well, ones that I could afford anyway, when I went to basically taught computer programming as this. Uh, here's a database. You're going to be sitting behind a computer and eating donuts the rest of your life and interacting with the database. And that is your coding. That's how you're going to code. Uh, college has never thought that, you know, maybe we could have something like Unity and teach JavaScript. Man, if they had something like that when I went to school, I'd be all over that, right? Well, that's not how it went. So, I have a database programming standpoint behind me. Uh, then I went to into a teaching field. So that's my background. So when I look at code like this, my brain goes numb. So does very many people's brains probably. So we're going to look at how you would analyze code and kind of tweak it in a way that is a non-destructive form and we can learn from it. Okay, so to do that, we will be first looking at it from a 3D person's perspective, okay? So that being a th in a 3D world, I know a vector to be what? Well, I know a vector to be X, Y, or Z, okay? And there's a positive x and a negative x and a y and a positive y and, and a z and a positive z. So um, if there's three vectors, I'm going to look at this because right here it says move direction. So my brain's going to immediately go to this and say, well, move direction must mean something on this line that's actually making sense. And if you look at this, move direction gets carried over to the next line. Okay, so this is the important line right here. So this actually describes vector, okay, so vector three, and here is what it's looking at. Now, I had somebody email me saying, hey, how do I change the actual direction um, or the WASD on the keyboard to the arrow keys? Well, hopefully, uh, I'm not going to be able to answer that right up yet, as of yet because you know I'm still into this code too but I would say this is a very good line to start at okay and remember small victories and once you get small victories out of the way you learn from them so I know this red is probably machine language that means horizontal vertical jump these have all been scripted into the Unity engine. And they have a lot to do with character control. I know that to be true. Now, what if I wanted to try to break the system? Well, first off, Command C to highlight that. And let's do it this way. Between these brackets, I'm going to put 0 dash zero or comma zero 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 and then we'll close it and save it and it's play right I can't move at all okay that told me that I was absolutely correct in the assumption that that is the actual uh, walking script right there in the direction okay now luckily I made a copy and it will fail unless I have this semicolon there. All right, now do you see the three? I have one, two, three. All right, so what it's doing is getting the input get axis horizontal and get axis vertical. Okay, so if I was to say horizontal or vertical, which area do I want to run in? Do I want to run in all vertical or all horizontal? I would have to first kind of look at my little world. 
if I looked at it this way, I want to run only in X. I want to not be able to run in Z and, I, and Y doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's try this out. I'm going to lock out vertical. Well, wait a minute, X, Y. Yeah, I don't even know which one of these are yet, so let's just break the system first. Zero. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to run. Perfect. Nice. So I can't move forward. I can't move in Z at all. I can jump still. And essentially, what I just made was a side-scrolling game. It's just that easy. All I need really to do is take my main camera and pull it back. What I like about this is I still can actually rotate my camera around, so we're going to have to look at that too. Because that makes an interesting perspective on things. It's actually making me sick. Okay. So, now that we've fixed it so the player can only run in one axis and jump, let's look at how we would fix the camera so it only moves in one uh, one vector or two vectors also. All right. 